Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you're well. Your host, Lord Famous Fortunes here. Welcome back. And uh, it, I've seen in the comments, as I stalk through the comment section, I, you know, sort of glide through the comments, read all of the comments, you know, see what's going on, vibe check everything. I saw that uh, there's some people are saying that a certain couple from uh, Montecito may be bankrupt. So uh, what... What a very juicy bit of goss that has floated into our comment section, uh, or been brought in like a, you know, like a hunting sort of, you know, you go out hunting and you're sort of bringing back the, the kill, so to speak. So the goss has been brought in, but what are we going to do with the goss? Well, uh, I'll, I guess I'll be acting as the, 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 I'll skin the goss today. We'll skin the goss, carve the goss up and, you know, roast it. So let's see how we go. Cheers to you. Welcome back. Uh, on this lovely Wednesday, on this lovely Wednesday, I have to say the energies of this month have been quite intense. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit out of the ordinary, and I'm feeling it sort of peaking at the moment. I'm not sure what that's all about, but in any event, let's find out. Are the duo from Montecito bankrupt? Are they bankrupt? And if you have a question for a future episode, let it be known in the comments. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and join T Famous Fortunes or donate to the Lord Famous Fortunes T Fund. Uh, let that be known. Uh, in, all in the comments. I added the, uh, the the Visionary I Ching link to the comments as well. So if you want to pick up a, a copy of the Visionary I Ching like I have, then check it out. Um, what else can I say? Uh, Fast Fortunes, yes, you may have heard me mention in the previous episode, Fast Fortunes will be making a return, so those questions for Fast Fortunes episodes into the comments, you can put as many questions as you like, uh, but the answers are only going to be very brief, so quick questions, quick questions, folks. So, let's do it. Are they bankrupt? Cards are hot. We'll take those cards. We'll take those ones. Escapees, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, King of Swords, Ace of Wands, Prince of Swords, King of Pence, The Hierophant, El Diablo. Underlying energy, the Two of Wands. Oh, very, I like how we just say El Diablo now. No one says the devil anymore. <laughs> I've read it in the comments. It's very rare. We'll say El Diablo. I just... I you know only so many times I can say that word before I have to sort of like a code word. It's like Lord of the Rings. You don't mention the name of the Dark Lord. You know, you don't mention the name. You certainly don't put on the ring or look into the, you know, the remember the, the, the crystal ball that, that they look into. And then uh, the the one who's returned, uh, the king, right? The king, uh, Aragon, he looks into the, and he holds the sword up to the, to the eye. And it was like a F you, basically. <laughs> I'm coming for you. You know, your sword's been resurrected. Very interesting symbolism, folks. Return of the King. Huh? Are we in the age of the return of the King? Uh, is Prince Charles becoming the King Charles and Omen? Who knows, folks? Who knows? Maybe we should do a spooky Saturday on it. But uh, in any event, Tolkien was a... You know, you want to hear about the reading. We'll get to the reading. Tolkien was a very, uh, very, very highly... Uh, illiterate let's say it was he was is that even the right word he was very well versed in esoteric law across multiple traditions which is why you see these you know the staff and the the ring and all these things as a, they're coming in from you know western esoterica i suppose so it's a fascinating fascinating tale and sauron no less and sauroman uh, you know are very interesting symbols and Gandalf becoming Gandalf the White and all these types of things. So in any event, he's not in the grey space anymore. He's in the light. Uh, we got to get some. We got to read some Gandalf quotes. That would be something. We need to read some Gandalf quotes about his return. That would be something else to tell you. Uh, but in any event, what's the deal here? Are they bankrupt? Well, you know, I have to tell you. I have to tell you here that this isn't a story about their mm, 
let's say financial status. That's not what I'm seeing here. I am seeing a story about their um, It seems to me this is a story about their, they want something from Prince Charles. And it's quite a clear story. You've got the King of Swords, which is well known to be Prince Charles. Also the King of Pentacles. You've sort of got their, they're their coming to him. They're coming to him. They're coming to the royal family uh, because, well, they may have some problems. I mean, now, the, the, <laughs> when I say problems, that could be multiple meanings. Uh, I want to just make that really clear. Uh, that is the problem, uh, let's say, bankruptcy? That could be the case with this devil card. But as we all know, the devil card takes on uh, multiple meanings, let's say, on Famous Fortunes. Uh, and, you know, so let that be known. Uh, let that be known, folks. Um, this, to me, looks like they, they... They... They wanted to... They want something from Prince Charles. That's, that's pretty much what I'm seeing here. They want something. They want something. They want money. They want money, that's for sure. And they don't want to be cut off. Uh, this is of utmost importance to them. And... I'm not seeing bankruptcy though, unless the devil could be the devil. You know what? Let me let's talk about the devil for a moment, or the El Diablo, as we'll, we'll say. Uh, we're talking about mortgages, even because the devil. If you, if if you've done enough tarot in your life, uh, or you've done enough reading on the topic, the devil can actually refer to things that are uh, incumbent upon you that that aren't going away. Um, whether that be health or wealth or what have you. So it could be representing these chains, if you like, that are bound to you, uh, that aren't going anywhere. So it could be a financial obligation that they have they're trying to solve or, or what it could mean, right? What it could mean is that they are trying to tie themselves into the royal family. So the royal family is obligated to help them financially or something along those lines. And that, that help won't sort of go anywhere so i don't see this as a an indication of bankruptcy per se but you know what i'm going to do is ask another way is there a let's have a spread a small spread on the financial sort of uh card nearly went in the tea the financial um situation of the sussexes let's find out what what is their situation because based on this reading it's going to shed a lot of light on the previous reading is it a shakedown or are they genu genuinely in trouble? Is it a genuine thing in trouble? Well, let's have a look at their financial situation. Cards are hot. Ah, the Empress. Queen, King of Cups, oh, Magician, Chariot, and the Ten of Cups, Underlying Energy, the Sun. Okay, so how is the financial situation? Uh, it's not, okay, okay, folks, it's not bad. There's, I, don't, I wouldn't call this a bankruptcy. I would call this their, you know, if you want to look at these cards in a very literal sense, they're growing, they're expanding. Uh, the... the the fortunes are good here. The fortunes are good for their family. Bright. I mean, I have to say, this is a good reading. If I did this reading for any one of you, it would be positive. Um, so, let it be known. Let it be known that, that it doesn't look like they're in serious bankruptcy situations now, uh, from what I'm seeing. So, let it be known. Let it be known, folks. Let it be known. I want to find this Gandalf quote. It's really, uh, it's really kind of stuck in my mind now. I want to, I want to find this uh, quote, but uh, uh, I can't play it because it's probably, you know, copyright all the rest of it. But uh, you know, 
you know, you know the story, folks. Yeah, you don't want to get, um, what's his name? Uh, you don't want to get, uh, who's the, 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 not the body language, the narcissist guy. Who's the narcissist guy? Uh, HG Tudor, there you go. The, <laughs> the narcissist guy. We need to just make everything a lot more simpler on YouTube. You've got the body language guy, the narcissist guy. Uh, what would you call famous fortunes? The tea guy, I suppose. <laughs> the tea guy. Uh, you know, the tea guy. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> let it be known. Uh, let it be known, folks. You have the tea guy and, uh, you know, all of those things. And uh, yeah, I found the clip of Gandalf and what he's explaining, where he's been and, and, and all that. And it's pretty magic. Uh but um, I, I can't play it. I can't play it. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Someone here, someone in the comments about Gandalf is saying, the white just refers to the colour of the cloak. There's no greater meaning. Well, folks, let me, allow me to retort. <laughs> allow me to retort. Gandalf the grey is, is colour symbolism, right? He's not Gandalf the black. That would be the Dark Lord right? Cloaked in darkness. But the grey symbolizes he has knowledge of both light and dark energies. And he's maybe practicing both, not for nefarious purposes, but you know, this, that type of thing, right? But when he's become Gandalf the White, it symbolizes his transition to sort of more uh, higher energies and uh, that type of thing, right? Raising one's, you know, state of illuminations, you know, in a very significant way. And he's been giving a a higher cosmic rank, and there are stories, you know, within different traditions of different stations and ranks that spiritual people can ascend to, and that there's a hierarchy of these types of things. So, in any event, uh, it's a very powerful symbol that he went from Gandalf the Grey to Gandalf the White, and because there was a white wizard, uh, Saruman the White, but he wasn't so white after all, and he lost his station, if you like. He was sort of demoted to, you know, God knows where, you know, like, it's a, don't want to know, you know, I think he's having a lot of problems now because he's been staring into, you know, the, the you know, the dark place for too long, folks. So uh, let it be known. That's why, we, you know, we, we say a lot of, you know, we joke around and we have a, like an easygoing time and we don't sort of become you know, when we're looking at things, you know, and you see something on the cards that's not of the light, uh, where's the devil card's not here, but he was, you know, here, you don't want to sort of become, you know, gaze into it for too long, not physically, but, you know, you don't want to sort of become, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, obsessed with it, so, uh, in any event, very powerful symbolism, so I don't know what this person's saying here, it's just gibbering, he's just gibbering, I know, people, colour symbolism is important, folks, uh, colours are very, very important, and extremely important, I mean, ask anyone that can see an aura, or, you know, different chakras, and all the rest of it with their naked eye, some people can, uh, they'll tell you that uh, they, those levels within the person can reflect their, you know, where they're at, so... Let it be known. But uh, in any event, I'll find this Gandalf quote. We will read it together. Uh, and with that said, uh, it doesn't look like a bank. It looks like they're doing great, folks. <laughs> they're doing great. So we, yeah, good on them. I mean, that's it. you know, as, as Charles said, we wish them luck building their new um, life together. So let that be known. All right, let it be known. King said so. So on that, I will... Uh, love you and leave you and if you have an episode for famous fortunes get in there and let it be known uh if you uh like gandalf the white then just you know let it be known in the comments gandalf gang or something i don't know let it be known <laughs> I'll, I'll see it so with that with that said i'll see you in the comment section